Good afternoon and welcome to The Balance of Life. I am Pastor A, and I thank you so very much for joining us today. Truly, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. It is our honor and our pleasure to come and spend some time with you in the Word of God. We're excited about each and every one of you. We're excited about what God is doing in your life and during this season. Listen, last night, if you had an opportunity to tune in for Bible study, it was really, really good as we begin to talk about the gift of faith, which is one of the power gifts. Well, one of the scriptures that we shared is actually our shaping up for what we're going to talk about today. And that scripture is, faith comes by hearing. And that is over in Romans, the 10th chapter and the 17th verse. Faith comes by hearing and by hearing the word of God. So, as I got in last night and the wheels were yet turning and I'm yet just thanking God for the Bible study and what he allows us to share and to teach. I was drawn back to that particular scripture. Faith comes by hearing. And so I asked myself this profound question. What does my faith hear? Romans 10, 17, it says, so then, well, let me back up to the 16th verse. It says, but they have not obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah said, Lord, who hath believed our report? Verse 17 says, so then, faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. So faith, and we're talking about the gift of faith. Faith. It comes, it grows, it is activated, it is stabilized, it is established, it is unyielding, it is, it is unyielding, it is powerful by hearing the word of God. Faith comes by hearing and by hearing the word of God. And so I asked myself this question. I got up and I wrote this note. There's a question. It says, how does faith come? The answer is by hearing. And what does faith need to hear? Faith, the gift of faith, needs to hear the word of God spoken out of your mouth. And so... Today here on The Balance of Life, I'm going to ask you a few questions. Something that we all must answer ourselves. As you are taking a look at your faith, and your faith must be, has to be, connected to God's purpose for your life. The very promises of God. Knowing that what God said, it shall surely come to pass. He is a God that he shall not lie. What he said concerning you and I, it pleased him to say it. And his word will not return unto him void. His word is so as sure as the heavens release the rains as well as the snow. God's word is sure. It is, uh, you can rely on it. You don't have to second guess God's word. You don't have to go back and say, but I think. When God spoke it and it pleased him to say it concerning you, you can rely on that word. And so, what are we saying to the vision that God gave to us? What are we saying to it? What are we saying to our purpose? What are we saying to our goals, to our dreams? Faith, it comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. 
And so I need to speak to my vision that God gave me. I need to speak to my purpose for my life in Christ Jesus. I have to speak to my purpose, my goals, my dreams, the word of God. I have to feed my purpose, goals, and dreams, the word of God. I have to feed them the gift of faith. I have to remind me, my faith, that I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens me. Question of the day, question of the hour. What are you giving your faith? What does your faith hear? Does your faith hear doubt? Does your faith hear, oh, I don't know if I can do this? What does your faith hear? Does your faith hear negativity? Does your faith hear you second guessing the promises of God? What does your faith hear? Scripture tells me by hearing the word of God that that's how faith comes. Faith is activated by hearing the word of God. So I need to I need to be careful about what my faith hears. Paul, the author, the known author of the book of Romans, he gives us this awesome, profound word. So then faith cometh by hearing. And hearing the word of God. When we come back, we're going to, there's another scripture that I, I want to take a look at. So make sure that you jot down Romans 10, 17. Because then we're going to take a look at 2 Peter 1 and 5. Where we're going to add. Mm -hmm. We're going to add. Faith was never meant to stand alone. Faith was meant to hear the word of God. I'll be back in a moment. If you've just tuned in, you've tuned in to The Balance of Life, and I thank you so very much for joining us today. Truly, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. It is Thursday, November the 12th, 2020, and I don't know about you, but things are happening and progressing in such a profound way that sometimes we need to reevaluate where we are. And so today we're talking about the word of God, faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Faith needs to hear the word of God. So the word of God, we should speak out of our mouth. We have to speak to faith. Faith comes by hearing. And so something has to be heard in order for faith to come. I'll say that again. Something has to be heard in order for faith to come. Faith comes by hearing. What does faith need to hear in order to come? The word of God. So I need to know what the word of God says about me. I need to know what the word of God says about my circumstances. I need to know. Don't, don't you want to know? Don't you, don't you want to know? And so the only way to know is by doing what? Getting in the word of God. Asking the Holy Spirit for an understanding to lead us and guide us in scripture. Reveal unto us the mysteries of God's word. All right. Let's go over to 2 Peter. The first chapter. And I want to start at the fifth verse. Let's start at the third. According as his divine power hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness, through the knowledge of him that hath called us to glory and virtue. 
whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these you might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Verse 5 says, And besides this, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue, and to virtue knowledge, and to knowledge temperance, and to temperance patience, and to patience godliness, and to godliness brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness charity. For these things be in you, and abound, they make you that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. But he that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see far off and hath forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. Wherefore the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure for if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. For so an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly unto the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So, my brothers and my sisters today, ask yourself this question. Because it's a very, very good question. If I were to take Romans the 10th chapter in the 17th verse and it tells me faith comes by hearing and by hearing the word of God what do I want my faith to hear I want my faith to hear the word of God and so I have to speak it out of my mouth I have to say I have to say it out of my mouth What are you saying to your dreams today? What are you saying to the vision that God gave you? What are you saying to yourself? I am more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus. I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens me. Something else that I should not say to them. And so we have to examine daily what we're saying to our purpose, goals, and dreams. Are you telling your purpose, goals, and dreams not today? I don't want to be bothered. We do that by our actions, also by our words. And so I'm a firm believer that every single day I should do something towards my purpose, goals, and dreams to bring them more into a reality. It takes work. They're not just going to fall in your lap and voila, it happens. So, if today, you're not doing anything towards the vision God gave you. If you're not touching your purpose, goals, and dreams to make them more of a reality and fine-tuning the areas that are not flowing correctly, then what you're saying to your vision, to your purpose, goals, and dreams is I'm not talking to you today. That's really what you're doing. When is the last time you visited your vision? When is the last time you touched your vision, your purpose, goals, and dreams? If you haven't touched your purpose, goals, and dreams, your visions, in a period of time, you have neglected them. Today, it's a day of reality and it's a day of truth. I tell you, when I got in last night, after Bible study, talking about the power of faith, the gift of faith, it is one of the, uh, uh, the, the three categories. It is one of the categories of the gifts of the Spirit. We're talking about now the power gifts. The gift of faith is the first one. And so I asked myself, and I know it was the Holy Spirit, what is your faith hearing? That was a question. He has given many visions, dreams, 
He has even released unto your purpose in his kingdom. What are we saying to those things? Are you having a conversation? Are you trying to find out what it is you're supposed to do on your part? What work am I supposed to put in? Because if you haven't touched them, you're neglecting them. Have you gone silent on your vision? Because it didn't happen when you wanted it to happen. So you decided to be quiet. You're not, you're not discussing your vision anymore. You're, you're no longer discussing it. Uh, you can no longer see it. Have you gone blind to your vision? Because it didn't happen when you wanted it to happen or the way you wanted it to happen. So you just turned a deaf ear and blind eyes to it and you're no longer concerned about it. Your faith can hear. Mm. I don't know about you, but that scripture is alive in my spirit. Faith comes by hearing. Faith comes by hearing. I can add to my faith as said in Second Peter, the first chapter. I'm instructed to add to my faith. I'm instructed on what to add to my faith. I'm adding the word of God to my faith. Faith cometh by hearing. Faith grows by our hearing the word of God. And yes, he's going to instruct another individual where we are under the tutelage of our, you know, we have our, our leaders, our shepherds, and they're sharing the word of God. Uh, you might, he might lead and direct you. The Holy Spirit might lead and direct you to tune in to someone on television, or you might be here listening to us on the radio, uh, in the, from the pulpit, from your local assembly, and they're giving you the word of God, and it is meant to help in your faith. But we have an obligation to speak the word of God out of our mouths. We have an obligation to know what God says to us. I have an obligation to know if I have access to the promises, to the blessings of obedience. And I, I listen, if, I might not know them all by heart, but I have sense enough to turn to the word of God and read them out loud. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing the word of God. What is your faith hearing? What does your faith hear? When I come back, I'm going to share this with you. Faith will not come when you are disobedient. I'll be back in a moment. I would like to invite each and every one of you to take part in receiving our weekly life applications. There is no financial obligation that you have to do all we ask is that you email us at thebalanceoflife1 at yahoo.com. And every Monday, you'll receive a copy of our life applications in your inbox. The life applications are words of encouragement through scripture and prayer. It is an extension of the College of Ministry and Mentoring. All of our students receive them, and we decided to extend it to those who register. Once again, no financial obligation on your part. All you have to do is email us. That's right. Email us today at thebalanceoflife1 at yahoo.com and we will send you a copy of our life applications. During the month of November and December, we're giving away free stuff here from The Balance of Life. There's nothing you have to pay for. All you have to do is email us the link that you tune in from and your mailing address and we send you a free gift 
How easy is that? It's from November and December 31st is our last day. So the remaining days of November, all of December, we're giving free stuff to our listening audience. All you have to do is email us. Our email address is thebalanceoflife1 at yahoo.com. Once again, thebalanceoflife1 at yahoo.com. Your name, your mailing address, and the avenue in which you tune in to listen to The Balance of Life. Today we're posing a question, what is your faith hearing? And it is based off of scripture from Romans 10, 17. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. So faith can come by hearing. What is your faith hearing? Your faith needs to hear the word of God. One thing is for sure, faith does not come when you are disobedient. Disobedience and faith do not go together. Obedience is better than sacrifice. And so, if we are instructed to do something by the Holy Spirit, it is to our betterment to do it. Uh, when one is ministering and sharing the word and or teaching and they give you, you know, some instructions, especially when it lines up with the word of God, for instance, during Bible study over the past couple of weeks, have we, as we have been talking about the gifts of the Holy Spirit in different categories, uh, I have asked those in attendance to read certain passages of scripture connected to that particular spiritual gift. Those are, are some instructions being given to you to help bring you closer in the knowledge of Christ. It's nothing to harm you. It's nothing to um, distract you. It's in reading the word of God. Now, it's up to each individual to take those instructions and to do it. It has nothing to do with whether uh, the one next to you, if they decide to do it, or even if they don't decide to do it, I have learned to be obedient. Listen, if it's going to draw me closer to the kingdom of heaven, if it's going to bring some clarity unto the word of God, it takes an act of obedience. I'm not telling you to do anything contrary to the word. And so faith comes by hearing, hearing what the word of God. And so listen, if the if the one teaching Bible study or say a prophet comes to you or a man or woman of God or however you're a shepherd and they say, I want you, the Holy Spirit is telling me to tell you to read such and such and it's connected to your healing. Okay. You decide not to read the passage of scripture. You're not disobeying the man or woman or God. You're disobeying the Holy Spirit, and then that was a condition on your healing. Read this, and when you read it, you're going to start to feel better. Healing is going to take place. Well, because we are people, and we don't like anybody to tell us what to do, we will decide, hmm, I'm not going to do that because you don't tell me what to do. Well, that was connected to your healing. Do you see where I'm going with this? Faith and disobedience do not go together. The scripture says faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. And so, I need to go back to the word of God and read it out loud. For my faith. I'll be back in a moment. Don't forget, there are still a few days in which you can register for our Kingdom Leaders Learning to Lead class that started on November the 7th. The registration per person is $25. You will receive 
a copy of the material that we cover during each class. This course is from November the 7th through December the 19th with an exclusion on November the 28th because that is still during a holiday time. Our first class we had a two hour session and our last class is for two hours. That gives a six hours, six classes and eight hours of class. So you have a total of eight hours of class time, six scheduled classes. You can also purchase a copy of the workbook and work independently. Kingdom Leaders Learning to Lead, it is available on Amazon, or you can contact us directly to order your copy. If you are a ministry or an organization that would like to make a bulk purchase, we can take care of that for you as well. All you have to do is send in your request to the ministry. A Ferguson Ministries at gmail.com. Today on the Balance of Life, we're talking about a founding scripture from Romans 10 17. And this really, really is in my spirit, and, and so I I'm not going to let it go. I'm going to allow the Holy Spirit to continue to minister unto me and and check over what my faith is hearing. I can't afford to give my faith any doubt. Mm -mm. I can't afford to neglect my purpose, goals, and dreams. I can't afford not to speak to them. I, I can't turn a blind eye as if they don't exist. I'm not in a position where I can put them up on the shelf and leave them. They will not become a reality if we don't give them what they need. I'm the first partaker of what we share. And so I have some desires, I have some things that I'd like to do within ministry, within my family. But if I, if I'm not in unity and I work to get those things done, and my work is mainly by being obedient to the Holy Spirit. Doing and moving as I'm instructed. Or staying still as I'm instructed. Connecting as I'm instructed. But if I don't, I have no one else to blame but me. I can't say that God didn't uh, show me any further because I didn't show any interest or I was disobedient. I can't say, well, maybe it wasn't meant for me to do so if I wasn't obedient and if I didn't do what I was called to do. Something has to take part from our place. There's something we have to do. And I don't want you to miss an opportunity that God has given you. Don't think, oh, I'll get another chance, because you might not. Don't think, oh, it'll come around again and then I'll be ready, because that might not happen either. Your time could be now, and I don't want you to miss it. So, start allowing your faith to hear the word of God. Align yourself up with the word of God. There are promises released to his people. And it is con contingent. It is based upon our obedience to him. When you find yourself, I didn't say perfect, I said obedient, which means you have a repentant heart and spirit. You can align yourself with the promises and blessings of obedience. And you have to tell yourself, I am the head and not the tail. Remind yourself that you are more than a conqueror. 
and that you can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens you. Have a blessed day.